Hi everybody! Welcome to a Tuesday evening in the craft room. Thanks for joining us. It is Tuesday, September 21st, the day before the equinox. So fall officially starts tomorrow and or spring, depending on where you are. And tonight we thought we'd have a little bit of a hen party. <laughs> uh, I made some chubby, chibi chubby chickens, chibi chubby tubby chickens on Friday. That was our Friday video. And I had so much fun making them. I decided I'm going to make a whole flock. So I thought, <laughs> thought we'd sit here and uh, do some crocheting, put your feet up, grab your work in progress. We're just going to have a, a little bit of a, a like a, a casual evening. I'm going to make some chickens and um, I've got them here behind me. Here, girls. These are the little the little ladies that we're going to, that I'm, at least I'm going to make. We have a tutorial for them and Mr. and Stitches will make sure that that gets linked into the um, chat and the description. And of course, after this live stream is finished and becomes a video, we'll make sure it's in the pinned comment too. So if you haven't had a chance to make a couple of these little girls for yourself, you can do that. These, these are so <laughs> goofy. I love little tiny toys for a number of reasons. They don't necessarily have to be toys. Um, I thought I might make a couple tonight and put a little, a little um, string on them to make some early Christmas tree decorations because I know a lot of people who just love chickens. They're just so cute. And, uh, and funny. So I'm going to make some of them into Christmas tree decorations tonight. I was hoping I could get like a little set of three done in different colors. So I've got, I've, I'm going to make a little red hen to start. I've got two different shades of brown and I have some white. So, um, so part of tonight was to see how quickly I could make some of these little chibi chubby tubby chickens. And we're also going to uh, we've got some questions from the family. We're going to work through some of those. We've got a couple of goofy questions. We've got some uh, some useful questions. And I think we've got a poll going, if I am not mistaken, Mr. and Stitches. Yes, we do. Is that a Sherry's poll question? Yes. You want to read it out? I'm just posting the chicken, chibi chubby tubby chicken tutorial. Excellent. So. Chibi chubby tubby chicken. Okay, there it is. So that will be in the chat if anyone would like to check that out. Um, okay, so the poll was from Sherry or Ch was it Sherry? Sherry. Yes, Sherry. Uh, I believe Sherry is one of our channel members. Mm -hmm. So Sherry asked, was anyone able to work through a good chunk of their cotton stash over the summer? Yes, and I like this question because uh, that may not be something that you have thought of yourself it might be something you've heard us mention in the past like in the summer i like to work with mostly cotton yarns because it's cooler um and one summer uh was it last summer the summer before no everything seems to be blending together right now but a couple either last summer or the summer before i had said that i wanted to use up my cotton stash maybe it was the summer before that i don't know um and i did i managed to use up quite a bit of it and i'm still uh, looking to replenish it. So I've got some cotton colors, but I need some more cotton colors because I did actually manage to use up most of the cotton that I had in my original stash um, to make way for more, of course. <laughs> so I did use up all of the yarn, uh, the cotton yarn I had originally. I made a couple of simple little rugs, uh, which are nice underfoot in the summer because they're cool. But um, I thought it was a good question because uh, if you're always sort of, if you're wondering, oh, I want to crochet, but I don't know what to do and, you know, or it's hot out or something, then reach for your <laughs> cotton yarn because that's a nice, that's a nice cool fiber to use when you're hot. Summer says, I think it was two summers ago. Was it two summers ago? Yeah. It feels like it was two summers ago. Yeah, certainly wasn't this summer. And I'm not even sure it was last summer. I, I yeah, think it was two summer summers right. ago. <laughs> um, someone had... A funny comment. This is from Jessica Rabbit. You know you want to put one on a necklace and maybe some earrings? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> think you'd have to make them even smaller? Um, I don't know. I think... That'd be cute, um, though, eh? I mean, I could make them a little smaller, but I mean, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. They might be a bit big, but it is pretty funny. Yeah, these girls might be a bit big, but that's the size for medium weight yarn. I think if you... If you downsize to a size three lightweight, like a light DK weight yarn and maybe a three millimeter hook, phew, these would go even smaller. And I think those might make, they might make you little earrings. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> I'm having a cup of tea this evening, Earl Grey, hot. And Tori then... says, my cotton stash got bigger. Darn sales. Did it? <laughs> I, I don't, I think I went, I went looking for some cotton one of the last times we were out 
but I didn't manage to find any in the colors that I wanted. Um, I want more solid color cottons. There's a lot of cotton um, that's out there that's kind of multicolors. It's pretty, mostly, I, I guess the idea is that you would make sort of, you know, dishcloths and washcloths and stuff out of it, which is great so that you don't have to keep changing colors. It makes it interesting, but I want some solid color cotton because I've got, I've always got sort of need for solid colors. I like variegated. I have a lot of variegated, but <laughs> I need more solid color. <laughs> So I'm just getting a little red hen started here. Do we have crochet half finger gloves tutorial? Half finger gloves? Is that fingerless gloves? We have or a is lot that of the ones where you flip them like it kind of flips open and close. We have a lot of they... fingerless glove tutorials. Um, we don't have like a, a, a mitten a thing one? where you like have the little cap come over. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what. Uh... No, we what haven't is, done that. What Martha's asking. We do have. We do have. We do have fingerless gloves. We have several. We have several tutorials on YouTube. Uh, we've got several fingerless glove designs, and we've got a pair of mittens. We do have mittens, um, which are lovely and warm. Mittens are a good thing to start making this time of year. If, it, <laughs> if it's still not too, if it's if it's cooled down where you are, it's kind of it's. It's actually been beautiful the last few days here. We've had beautiful weather. It's my favorite kind of weather. It's that lovely fall weather where the, <laughs> the sunlight is golden. And if you're in the sun, it's very warm. But if you step into the shade, it's quite cool. So you have to start sort of bringing a little light jacket mm -hmm. or something with you everywhere you go. Keep your poncho in the back seat of the car, just in case you need it. And another reason I was kind of eager to sort of sit and make a few of these this evening with you guys is that it's... It's one of those, it's a very simple little pattern. Um, so I just kind of have to marginally pay attention to the increase, the three increase rows at the beginning. And then I can just sort of zip around single crocheting without really counting until it looks like I've got five rows of straight single crochet. And then I can give it a quick, quick count up, do a little, do a little stuffing. And while I'm doing this, and Mr. and Stitches is, I guess you're that's bizarre. Okay. Jesse says, I, I'm glad I clicked on this. It said you were scheduled for 10 p.m. I'm on the East Coast, USA. That's bizarre because we're also on the East Coast, technically. Well, the East. We're Eastern time zone, yeah. Yeah, we're Eastern time. We're on the coast, but we're Eastern time zone. So 10 p.m., that, that's bizarre. I, that's got to be a funny little glitch. I right? notice that sometimes um, if we sort of pass by a live stream that's if, planned, I wonder if it'll the do settings that. settings... I wonder if it has to do with your settings in your you uh, Google account. Like if you said you're so. from a, a different place and you forgot to change no, it. No, because or... you know how sometimes we'll pass by a live stream that we know starts at like eight o'clock, mm -hmm. and it'll it'll say like nine or ten or six, and we'll be like, what? Yeah. And it's I think it just it might be maybe where we. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. But I thought I was going to have an answer. Good but thing I know. you checked and clicked. <laughs> JC says, I have made eight out of my 12 chickens. Oh my gosh. I will put them in an empty egg cart. Yes, for yes. My sister who collects all things chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I love that idea. I think that is such a cute She's idea. She's going to open that egg carton and be pleasantly surprised. They are about the size, of, they're a little bit smaller than a, than a medium sized egg or maybe a large egg. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that idea. <laughs> who was it that said they have a friend who sews so she, and loves chickens. And so she made some of these and she put a, a heavy washer weight in the bottom so that she could use them as little weights for to keep her sort of fabric and patterns together while she cuts and sews. I love that That's idea. A great Forgive idea. me if you're watching. I can't remember remember your name at the moment, but I thought that was such a wonderful idea. Yeah. Because um, I love to sew. And what, what, <laughs> some cute little sewing buddies. I like that idea. <laughs> so, um, that was quick. If anyone hasn't taken part in the poll, um, you want to cast your vote, we'll close it in a little bit. Yeah. So this was the, it's at the top of your, of the chat. It should be at the top. Um, Sherry asks, was anyone able to work with good chunk of their cotton, work through a good chunk of their cotton stash over the summer? It's a good question. Yeah. Because um, mm. it's it's one of those... I, I over... Not everyone likes working with cotton. No, not everybody wants to work through their entire stash of yarn either. <laughs> 
All right, there's the body. Now I'm gonna stuff it. Mm -hmm. I'm just using old yarn to stuff the little bodies of my chickens. <laughs> All right. I'll just get this little thing on. All right. Are we closing the, the little pole? Uh, yep. I'm just going to post our channel homepage for the people that are looking for uh, yes. specific tutorials. Um, you can go to our YouTube channel homepage and you can use the search there. So if you're looking for stuffed animals, um, type that in. If you're looking for um, blankets or granny square, if you're looking for beginner, Yep, we've got a whole Let's bunch of Let's use those words and you should find a, It'll come right up. a bunch of videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to close the poll. Okay, and then we're going to discuss. 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 Okay, <laughs> last chance. Last chance, a few seconds. Three, two. Oh, the votes are still coming in. <laughs> One. All right, ending the poll. Okay, so let's see what came through. Tori says, I love your hair tonight. Oh, thank you. I, I I wore it, for everybody who was here last week, I wore it in ribbons. I wore it tied up with ribbons. And I wore it that way on Sunday again. And I've decided I really like it. It takes a little bit of time to do, uh, but not much more time than it would if I was trying to like style it with it. Actually, it takes a lot less time to, to, to braid it and put it up and tie it up with ribbons than it did it would if I was trying to style it with a, sew with a, a sewing machine. <laughs> Whoa, that I'd be so impressed if you styled your hair with a sewing machine. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right I'll down. Be right there. <laughs> Do not yeah, try that at home. Do not yeah, please do not try that. We are just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it doesn't take disclaimer. Very long. This is a joke. <laughs> this is a, this is a, this is a <laughs> silly joke. I'll be right down. <laughs> oh, and then it gets stuck. Like you know how your thread always gets stuck. Yeah, that would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. Not a good idea. No. It, anyway, uh, thank you. And <laughs> I was gonna wear it again in ribbons, but I wanted. I don't have ribbons that specifically match this. Or if I do, I couldn't find them. I was gonna kind of gonna go for yellow to match my little sunflowers, but I thought wearing it out would be nice too. So the poll yes. has closed, and sixty-five percent say no. Sixty-five percent say no. Well, I am one of them. Thirty-four, thirty-four, thirty-five say yes. All right, interesting. Yeah, I I did Good not make it a point to work through my yarn stash this summer. I had other little projects on the go. Um, and not all of them were cotton. I, I did. We did start the cotton uh, mesh granny squares with the granny square game, and I'm still working my way through those. Um, so that's some cotton, but that certainly isn't going to use up everything in my stash. But uh, all right, I'm just getting the top of my little chicken head finished here. Are you making a red one? Yeah, or a I'm making dark brown. What is that? Well, this is this is a little a oh, little I red see. one. Yeah, I wanted to make a, a little red, red hen. You yeah. know, I think that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like it. And I'm just gonna pull up on her thing. And I'm gonna make I might make a couple beaks at once just because they're easy to do. So, how is everyone doing tonight? It's kind of a it's kind of a low key chill evening. This tonight. is a this yeah, is every, a, even in the chat. Everyone's just kind of hanging, cro crocheting, hanging chill. out. <laughs> crochet and chill well good i mean we can't we can't be uh we, we can't be going mental all the time <laughs> no not all the time <laughs> just most of the just time. most of the time i do have some little questions too i just thought i would uh oh my gosh this is so fun i just wanted to get a couple of little chickens started <laughs> but uh and i have, wanted that pole. you should have these little guys are they on, not on they, these little guys on them? camera like, the stars of the show I'll just have them sit over here. So here's 
at the front? Yeah, it's the front. Uh, okay, you have the list of questions over there. Yeah, I do. So do you want, are these questions or poll? Uh, no, some polls? of them are just good questions for the entire community. And All right, would, let's see what we have here. I don't have my little notebook with this evening, so I have everything kind of. So you're putting the pressure on so me. So you're putting the pressure on me tonight, then. <laughs> Pressure's that's, on that's you. That's what's going on mm -hmm. here. I see what you're doing. I know your tricks. Okay, there they are. Um, so we've got, you want me to ask them in ask, a row? Just ask the first one. Okay. So yeah. the first one is from Cat Craft, um, one of our channel members. What is the advantage to working in the round versus joining a row and chaining one? Yes. Okay. I love that. So a lot of the amigurumi we make, um, you'll hear me sort of talk about the increased rows, let's say for making a simple ball shape or something. And then I'll say, okay, and we're just gonna single crochet straight. Or as we're working in the round, we're gonna work directly into the first stitch of the previous row. And that way you're not seaming. So mm -hmm. instead of joining with a slip stitch and chaining one, like you do sometimes when you're working around, when you're working in the round, you're not joining with a slip stitch. So this has the lovely effect, especially when you're using a single crochet stitch of not having a seam. So mm -hmm. there's no seam on your little, whatever it is you're making if you're working in the round. You don't end up with, with a seam. When you join your rows with a slip stitch and chain one and continue with whatever stitch you're doing, let's say if it's single crochet, you chain one. If it's a larger stitch, you might chain more. You have to, in order to keep from having a seam kind of go in one direction or the other, you have to kind of skip over the false stitch and or use the false stitch and you have to alternate each row and that keeps your seam relatively straight but you still end up with a seam so if you're joining a row that can be helpful because maybe you know you're at the end of the row you don't need to use a stitch marker but you do end up with a seam if you're not joining rows and you're just working in the round you will not have a seam but it might be helpful to use a stitch marker so that you kind of know where your row began and end if you have trouble kind of figuring that out from looking at the bottom of a piece, uh, especially, especially if you started small. If you're working in the round, like in a hat, for example, um, some of our hat patterns do that, where we create the ribbed cuff and then we start building the hat on top of that and we just keep going around and around and around. I love that because I don't like seams running up the back of my hat. Um, and so you won't end up with a seam if you work in the round, but you may get lost and forget which row you're on and have to sort of stop and count every so often. So. Um, so it, it, stitch markers are handy if you're working in the round. <laughs> uh, there was a couple of comments I wanted to share with sure. you. Sure. Um, so this is from Rosie. Rosie says, Jada, the first stuffed animal I crocheted was your chibi chubby tubby owl. And it got me hooked <laughs> on watching your wonderful tutorials. I now have a menagerie. Uh -huh. All right. Thank yeah. you. We have a lot of chibi chubby tubby animals. I love the little ones. The little they're ones are cute. fun. They're, they're, they're short. They don't take up much time. They don't take up much yarn. Um, and, you know, sure, kids love yeah. a little toy, but these are these these are what I call a pick-me-up gift. So I like to, if you work with people, you know, in an office or whatever, or you've got friends at school, this is the kind of thing that I like to sort of leave on somebody's desk when they get up and go to the washroom or go get a coffee. I'll sneak in and, like, put it on their desk. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's amusing and it's fun and it's sweet. And especially if they need, like, if they're kind of having a, like a grumpy day, these, 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 these will make anybody definitely smile. put a smile on, mm -hmm. on your face. Um, and there was another one here I wanted to share with you. Sure. Let me see. This is from Leslie. Leslie says, Jada, did you see that the hair lady in quotes cut all of her hair off? No, Morgan. She's the, the one, one that you. Um, I, I saw shared. The, I shared that winding. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to admit, I haven't watched much of her. I've, Just that one video. I've watched a couple, but not too many. I was oh. mainly focusing on kind of a, a so that might hairstyle have been thing. Old one? So I don't know. That must sounds more like recent. She's got a, well. She had an awful lot of hair. It was wow. Beautiful. Well, that's but, interesting. Uh, I really liked her personality, so I recommended her as a nice watch. Oh, and I have another one. I have another nice channel that I've recently found that I really enjoy. Um, I, I would classify this as the the um, the <laughs> super serene blog or vlog style. Um, it's a Japanese titled 
channel. Her name is Naomi. And I think if you search Naomi's Life Japan, it'll come up. So it'll say Naomi in English. Um, and, the, and the Naomi looks a little sort of fancy. And then the rest of the channel name is in um, is in Japanese script. And she she subtitles everything and she doesn't speak. It's actually, it's, oh, it's, her videos are absolutely gorgeous. She sort of, she takes pictures or, or video of like her wandering around, you know, where she lives, uh, cooking meals, um, you know, plating the meal. It's And it's just very, oh, it's just very serene. I have been binge watching them actually. <laughs> She's lovely to watch. She she cooks nice meals and she kind of says what she's doing. And then sometimes she'll kind of take you shopping or take you to a little tea house and and you kind of see the menu or see what she's ordering. It's it's, it's a vlog style, but it's oh, it's just very, very beautifully filmed and edited. It's I really enjoy it. So Naomi's life and then Japan. And I think just the channel name is Naomi and then some Japanese script if you're interested. I certainly uh, I certainly have been enjoying it. I love finding all these little, these, these sort of, whenever I'm sort of watching something and, and the, uh, the, the algorithm sort of says, oh, you might also like, I found some really delightful channels that way, including Danny, Danny Connor Wild. We really like her. Oh, yeah. And The Winds. I, I love her videos. I really like The Winds. We've been watching them for years. She has, a new one we have, she has a new one we haven't watched yet. Is that the one with the Danny, flamingos? Danny. Danny? Yeah. We have to remember to. Check that out. Danny Connor is a wildlife photographer, a photographer, and um, she sort of her videos are they're 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 few and far between. She doesn't do them regularly, mm -hmm. but um, when she does do them, they're beautiful. They're really good. <clears throat> yeah, she's got she's another one with really excellent film skills. All right. <laughs> so here's my little red hen. She just needs her eyeballs. Oh yeah, I love mm -hmm. it. Got a red one. Oh, wait, one. Hold them a little one. closer to the camera so we can get a good look. I'm just going to put her eyes in so that she's not yeah. completely finished. But uh, I might do that later. So that's one. Is anyone else making little chickens along with Jada <laughs> tonight? <laughs> cluck, cluck, hen party. N Nami's life. Wraith found it. <clears throat> Nami. Is it Nami or Naomi? I th it, it, it looked like Naomi to N-A-M-I. N-A-M-I-O? She's, she's Japanese, Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a little O kind of thing. It look it when I go over it, it looks like Naomi to me. But that that might be it. Yeah, na, na, now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Naomi. I'm drinking tea. Just so. <laughs> uh huh. That's what you said last time. Okay. Uh, brown or light brown for my next chicken. Din light. D i n. This can be the next poll. Oh, okay. We're going to get everyone to vote. Yeah. So the next chicken, let's put the poll Dark up. Dark brown or light brown. So next. And while you guys are choosing that, I will sew on my little eyes. I don't have my glasses and maybe I should, but I'm going to see if I can thread up this needle without it. So uh -huh. what, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, brown and... Dark brown chicken or a light brown chicken? So dark brown. What is the next one I will do? Light brown. And I'm just going to sew these little eyeballs on. All right. The poll <laughs> is up. Poll is live. Um, all right. We got some votes in already. Oh, good great. Stuff. Plus, everyone's been answering in the chat. Okay, good. So I'll read those out for now, and then we'll um, let the poll sit for a few minutes. Yes, yes. Um, so let's see. We got light brown, light brown, light brown. Light brown, all right. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so any of the browns. Uh, dark brown, light brown, dark brown, dark brown. Dark brown, dark brown. I think the chickens even come in black. I'm I want to get... Like, yeah, they do. Yeah. I want to get a. I want to get some. I want to have a chicken that's every kind they of color. They come in black. They come. The super fancy ones even have like multiple colors of, um, like black, white, even like little flecks of red oh, yeah. and orange and stuff. Yeah. Um, light brown, dark brown, dark brown, dark brown, light brown. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's almost fifty fifty well, right now, but we're gonna let the poll sit there. Uh, make sure you vote in the poll. Um, I'm not really sure on the computer here. I'm on a PC on a laptop. It's at the top of the chat bar. 
but I don't know if you're on a phone or tablet, if it's at the top or at the bottom, or there's like a little tiny icon you have to click on. I'm not sure. Eyeballs. There we go. I wonder what an orange one would look like. Hmm. I do have orange. Could certainly make an orange one. All right. <laughs> These make me laugh. I, I think I giggled all the way through the tutorial. You uh, did. Not, not that that's abnormal. But <laughs> <laughs> no. Not really. But I just, they kept, I kept, every time I make a little stuffed toy, I, I love to see their little personality kind of emerge as you're working on it. It's at the top of the iPad. Okay, thank you. Um, Is that so the pool? Where to find that? the pool? The top of my phone. Yeah, a few people answered. So if you're on an if you're on an iPad, a tablet, or your phone, it's also at the top. So that's good to know. <laughs> I came prepared. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can hear that through the microphone, but we got two super chats. Oh my gosh! In a row, so the chickens got really excited. <laughs> Thank you. Can everybody? Can everybody hear that? I heard it. <laughs> hey, the chickens are uh, uh -huh. they're having a good time. They're roosting, you know. Um, yeah, we got two super chats. So one is from Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. Super chats us. Regularly. Thank, Thank you, you, Victoria. Victoria, <laughs> Victoria says, um, enjoying the adorable chick chickies. <laughs> I am wondering if you've seen the new Ogo yarn and what your thoughts were on it. Yes, uh, we saw it. I've seen sort of some talk about it. We did manage to find some in uh, Michael's a little while ago when we were out. But the only Ogo they had was the blanket yarn. Um, so I think Ogo comes in a handful of different, like, I think it comes in the comfort acrylic kind. And this was the polyester blanket style yarn. Um, and I wasn't terribly excited about the color combinations they had. So I didn't end up buying any because I've got a ton of blanket yarn. I don't need any more. So if it comes in other kinds, I haven't seen that yet. Um, but I will say, I thought the packaging was way too big. <laughs> That was my, I'm like, it might unwind. I know that, I know that the, the, the gig is that it's supposed to unwind really easily. I don't have problems with the blanket yarn unwinding as a rule. Um, but I haven't had, I haven't actually pulled one apart to see if it unwinds. Um, but, uh, I just, I, that is such a gigantic package. I, I was, I was, a, anyway, <laughs> so I didn't wind up getting any, but if I do see some in, in um, nicer colors or colors that I don't have or, uh, or the the more like the acrylic stuff that I might I might I might consider it, but um, haven't got any yet. We'll keep uh, keep our eyes on it and see. We'll keep what, our eyes on it. Yeah. What what comes out? It's uh, I know but it's it's fun when they come out with a new yeah new of, stuff like, is always exciting. A new I think it's cool. I think it's awesome that they are trying to answer the problem of yarn tangling when you know people get that's one of the number one. Kind of complaints I see whenever somebody's sort of asking questions. We did a, a, a long time ago. We had a, a video on uh, how to find the inside end of a yarn, <laughs> a yarn ball, and it works really well on some yarns and other yarns it doesn't work at all. And we get what we call like yarn frogs or yarn burf or yarn just bleh, like a, you know you try to pull out the middle and the whole inside of the ball comes out, and then you're left like rewinding and rewinding and rewinding. So that's a you know, when you just want to crochet, the last thing you want to do is sort of sit there and rewind. Get a winder. Winders are great. I love mine. <laughs> I use it all the time. Um, but yeah, I love that they're trying to answer the question of making them work better because, or, or unwind better because, yeah, that's something. It that reminded we talk about a lot. me when when I saw it. It reminded me of the, the the things you see at the hardware store when you when you buy rope or you're buying um, like chains. It kind of looked like, like that. on a spool kind mm -hmm. of thing. It had that kind of a little contraption cardboard contraption yeah yeah it did look to kind try of and like avoid tangling yeah and avoid, yeah again that's what taken, it looked like to me we, we haven't bought one and taken it apart yet yeah. so i don't know how well they untangle but i love that they're trying to address that that is just that gets that gets a's in my book already. you haven't even read it the second one the chickens are excited the too 
I think so. Okay, the second one is from JC. <laughs> JC says, Hi, JC. Chickens, chickens everywhere, on tables, chairs, and floor. But as long as there is yarn and hooks, there's always room for more. Yeah! <laughs> JC gets another chicken. Another excited chicken for that. Love J. I, I told JC if her super chats are not in poem form, That's I'm not it. reading. You're not reading. <laughs> so she's she's she uh, set the bar kind of high for herself. Yeah, she's, she set the bar high, but she's uh, she's keeping that. up with it. There is always room for more little chickens. Definitely. So um, we also got a super sticker a from super sticker. Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. It's the very happy um, uh, <laughs> pair. <laughs> kind of bouncing up and down. I love that little pair. Okay, what am I doing? Is it dark brown or light brown? What's the poll say? Oh, okay. So last chance. And we'll give you another 10 seconds to vote in the so poll. So that's how quickly I made the little red hen. I'm going to see how many I can make this evening while we're hanging out. I've got three. I want a whole flock. You're going to laugh because right now, right now the poll's at 50 50. Guys. Literally <laughs> right on the dot. All right, everyone. Come on. We need help here. The poll's at 50 50. <laughs> I've got. I've got, okay, well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever, whatever. Let's see here. I'm going to find the middle. We got 122 votes. There's let's one. get some more votes in. Dark brown or light brown. I'm going to get both of these ready to go. That's a really tight line. I wonder, well, I might just pull that from the outside. Sunflower Sue asks, is that a crochet sunflower that you're wearing? Yes. Yes. And so are these. We have, uh, we've got a tutorial for these. We, two Fridays ago, we did, uh, we did a tutorial on making jewelry versions out of our sunflower applique and our pumpkin applique from our folk art calendar blanket. Um, and that was, that was actually a lot of fun. So I've got, I've got, I've got a little matching set of oh my God, I love sunflowers. That Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but I love Lydia's idea. Oh, oh, what? They need a chicken coop so they can nest and lay mini eggs. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Jada's head exploded. <laughs> yeah. You have to crochet a chicken coop now. Uh-huh. You like that idea, eh? <laughs> okay. I'm going to close the poll <laughs> in five seconds. Idea. Devin voted five seconds to vote. Cute. It looks like it's leaning one way. Yay. Wow, that was the that was the, the closest poll we've ever had. Yeah. It was 50-50 for the longest time. Yeah. All right. What is it? What is it? What okay. am I starting with? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. end it. Dark I'm gonna, brown, end, the, light I'm gonna brown. end it. We'll see if any more votes come in. Okay, so we got 128 votes. Oh, okay, all right. Light brown got 51. Whoa. It says 50, but it was 51. And then dark brown got 49. So <laughs> oh like it's like God. one vote over. All right. So I'm gonna so we're gonna next go with the one light brown. It's gonna now. be light brown. Some, someone said maybe with flex uh the next in the future, maybe the next one with flex of color. I think that's an excellent idea. Do I have a flecky hmm? Hmm. I'll have to sort of dive into my stash. But here. I love the coop idea. Oh, I do my too. Goodness. That that's a must. That's a must. We're gonna have to do a coop. I, I have now. They have to have a coop. <laughs> I love that. I mean, you want excited chickens? Give them a coop. They do need a place to roost. I have to say. <laughs> so that was a super chat from Diane. Thank you, Diane. Diane says, "I tried an ogo colorama." Yes. I made the hat with it. I was excited, but the yarn felt funny. Okay, what kind of yarn was it? You don't have to super chat as again no, no, with the no, answer, yeah. but um, just I'm curious. Was it was it just 100% acrylic? Was it kind of the blankety polyester stuff? I'm um I'm I am I am I I mean you know me I'm a sucker for yarn. So if there's a new yarn on the market, I do like to to give it a try. That's why we went looking for it and we found like the blankety stuff. But I thought I already have a lot of that. I don't really need any of that right that's now. That's the stuff that. Um... You were making all the big pillows. Yeah, and some the big of the fluffy stuff pillows. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I do like that stuff, but I find when I when I make the the pillows, like the big fluffy pillow series that we were doing, I I want solid colors, 
as a rule, because I have a particular kind of shape that I'm going for. So I, I haven't been buying the self. And I think it was largely, it was self-striping. That was the thing. It was a self-striping blanket yarn, which Ooh. would be great for blanket pattern. Yes. Kind of thing. That's a, this is a great idea from, um, I hope I'm saying this right, Angarama. Angarama. Angarama clap. Crafts. Jada, you could maybe modify the gingerbread house to, into a chicken coop. Yes, yes. For sure. That's a great I mean, idea. that's almost perfect. That's almost perfect. Almost perfect. Maybe, maybe a tiny bit bigger, but yeah, the gingerbread house. Just modify it. Great idea. That gives me an exquisite idea. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's another night I won't be sleeping. So. <laughs> Dum, dum, dum. Ah, oh my gosh. A chicken coop. I love it. <laughs> hmm. All right. So I'm going to, I've just jumped right into my, my second chicken of the evening. I'm using the light brown. I will make a dark brown right after I get this one done because. For sure. Um, why not? I've had a nice cup of tea, so my arms and hands are nice and warm and ready to go. And uh, I have to go uh, to your homepage and find the chibi chubby tubby animals. They look so darn cute. They, yes, you know what? You can do. You can go to our homepage and search for them. But we also have the direct links here. Yes, and um, we'll make sure they're all in the pinned comment after this has become like a regular so, video. So um, we have. The chicken, we have a reindeer, we have a fox, a pig, a bat, a cat, and an owl. Yes. So far in that series. In that series. We also have a, a, a pocket pet series, which is similar. They're a little They're bit a bigger. They're a little bigger. Mm -hmm. But if uh, if you'd like to see any of those, um, let me know. I'll put them in the chat. Otherwise, uh, go to our homepage. And um, just look up Chibi Chubby Tubby. Chibi Chubby Tubby. Mm -hmm. So cute. This one is a little chibier and chubbier than the other ones. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remembered my idea for the, for the next live stream or a future live stream. Okay. It hit me. It finally oh. hit me. I was, trying, I, was, I was trying to tell Jada all day this idea I had. I hope I'm not losing it. I think it's going away. <laughs> it's literally flying away as, I, as you well, look like, at me. Well, like write it down or something. Hold on. It'll come back. It'll come back to you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But it hit me and I was like, oh yeah, that was the idea. Yes. I wasn't dreaming. It really wasn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> I want to surprise everyone, so I'm not going to say. Oh, gonna so you're stick. just going to tease I'm, all of us. I'm, not gonna, I'm going to tease everybody. <laughs> even Do I chickens. get to know what it is? Nope. <laughs> so we did actually get a super okay. chat. This is from Cherry. Hi, Cherry. Thank you. Cherry says, blanket and colorama five, Joanne's Red Heart for Walmart. Joanne's Red Heart for Walmart. So oh. Joanne's is a is a craft store, I believe, a supply store in Walmart, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so color um, blanket and colorama five. Uh, maybe Cherry was answering someone's question. So the colorama. Sure. Um, okay, I'm going to take a stab here. The colorama is a size five bulky weight, and the other one is a the red heart is a size four maybe medium. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you, Cherry. <laughs> you need a chibi chubby tubby rooster. What would we do to make that look like a rooster? Um, I don't they think just kind of have a bigger. They're a little bit bigger. And they I have think, more more floof and fluff at the front. And I think chest. they've got a little more like they've got they've got a little more waddle or um uh. So okay, this they is the comb. Little, this is more... the comb. This is the waddle, and I think they have something that hangs out over their nose. Oh, or is that yeah, just yeah. the the turkeys? Maybe we have I'm some sure there are, there are the, roosters that yeah. have a little something, but and I know we've got farmers and chicken keepers in the family um, and in the community at large. So if you know what this little thing is, and is it just turkeys? Mm -hmm. I know they have a, but um, yeah, that's the waddle. So and I, I even think <laughs> some chickens have a bit of a Kelly waddle. says you should market your yarn bowl. I bet you'd sell a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It, it, to be fair, it was my idea, but Jada did all the painting. You're right. It was your idea. It was your idea. I did do all the painting. Yeah. But I get at least 51% of the credit. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, you did this one. You did my little yeah little poster. That's my. I'm a boy. I'm a boy sitting with my wife crafting <laughs> at, at some random. Uh, that's my. <laughs> I love it. I think it. I think, I it, think it's fantastic. Think Hold it a little closer. Job. That's a Mister and Stitches special. That's a Mister and Stitches. Look, look at look at the detail. Look at the craftsmanship. I even put a smiley face on the T. I mean, it's genius. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I've been I've been using it. Do you want to well. show everyone your bowl yeah, since sure. uh, Kelly brought it up? So that is my bowl. I don't know. There's there's the there's the so we've got our little logo up there and then our signature sunshine. All by hand. All well by done. Hand. Well yeah. done. I really like this. I, I use this bowl quite a bit. Um yeah, it turns out fantastic. What was the name of the it was a chain. Yeah, it was Croc and it wasn't crocodile, was it crocodile? No, I don't remember. That sounds like one we've seen. It was though. the one in Niagara Falls. So if you if any of you are familiar with Niagara Falls, it's right across from the bridge to the US. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just just down the street from the Hard Rock Cafe. So whichever that one is, that's where we did. <laughs> so this this bowl is a perfect size for a yarn bowl, in my opinion. Cheryl says, Mr. and Stitches, getting us interested, then keeping it to yourself. Oh, the suspense. <laughs> I know. Sorry, you know what? I, I was know. I was bugging Jada all day. He was. I was going, oh, I had this idea for a live stream. I had an idea, I had an idea, and I couldn't, I couldn't remember it. <laughs> so then I started thinking I dreamed it up. Like, I, I'm just dreaming that I had an idea. And then it just hit me right now what the idea was. Someone, I guess someone sparked it with a comment. Some of you. Kind of finally so I'm going to talk about it for the rest of the live stream, but not tell you Apparently. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I didn't miss a super chat or, um, no, okay. So let's see. Um, did anyone ask for any of those links earlier? Or are you just going to go to the channel homepage? We're, we're also too. going to include it in the pinned comment. So if you pop back in later, and of course, oh, in you can the pinned comment, it. yeah. Yeah, you can always find it on the, the channel homepage. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we do have the individual links. Mr. and Stitches can sort of share those as we go. Um, we have another question. Do you want to read out the next question? And we'll. Yeah. While I work Let's on my little... see here. My... The next question. This is from Vicky. Vicky asks, what's everyone's go-to project to do while they're thinking about what major project to do next? Yes, I love this. So this is a question for everybody. And if Vicky's here, um, she can correct me if I'm wrong, because I frequently am. But <laughs> <laughs> I think... Um, that that's sort of like, okay, you're you're not really sure which new big project to get into, but you want to sit and do some crocheting. So it's like the little kind of go-to. Like, what do you sit and do, you know, while you're thinking about the next big thing or you're kind of waiting for the next big <laughs> bit of inspiration to come along? That's that's how I interpret that. And please correct me if I'm wrong, Vicky. So let's see. They're starting to come in. Hats and scarves, mm -hmm. wine bottle bag, cowls, Ooh. hot pads, baby blankets, great rectangle blankets. Whips. Okay. Just working on whips. Yeah, yeah that's I smart. make hair scrunchies. Um, granny or repeatable easy amigurumi. Mm. Hatter scarves. Donation stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, a turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, lining a granny bag. Beanies. Coasters. Coasters. Mm. Yep. Uh, continuous granny blankets. Random acts of crochet kindness. I like those. That's fun. Catnip toys. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just recently made a bunch of those. Yeah. Dishcloths. Dishcloths. That's mm. probably my main go-to. Knitting, go knitting dishcloths. Mm -hmm. Sunburst star blanket. Gray chain link fence for the chicken fence. Oh, this is a suggestion a from E Peaches oh, oh. from earlier. Oh. So maybe to add add a add a chicken fence to the coop. So we do the whole thing. We have a farm. We have a farm friends written pattern. We do. We have a farm that friends kind of has a whole set like that. But, in our but, but the chicken one would be great. A chicken too. one would be great in our in our Etsy shop. I don't know if any of you um, have have ever come across this in our Etsy shop, but we have a little ebook 
Um, so it's a whole collection of patterns for an amigurumi farm. It includes um, a chicken, a pig, a cow, and a horse, hay bales, little flowers, a, um, a whole play mat, like a little mat to actually play on it that's sort of like, sort of resembles the, the, the yard, the barnyard. And the carrying case is the actual barn. So you crochet the entire carrying case and then you can play with it um, or whoever you might be giving this set to. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have an entire ebook on that in our, in our Etsy shop. Um, and it was that was a real labor. Of love. I don't have a direct link, but I have a link to the shop, and you can look if you're curious. Yeah, you, take a look at the pictures. You can go to the ebook section on the left side, yeah, or just type in once you're on our uh, shop page, you can type in farm farm friends, farm friends, yeah, something like that. So I will plug that in, and before you go to the next. <laughs> We have some happy little hens, happy chickens. I love that. Uh, oh, I just love that sound. <laughs> so we got a new member has hey. joined. Well, welcome. A big welcome to Donna. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining. <laughs> she gets a chicken. She gets a welcome with she chicken. She gets welcome with a chicken sound. <laughs> with happy chickens. Happy chickens. Well, you want happy chickens. Happy chickens are the best chickens. Yeah, you must have happy chickens. I don't know if anyone's ever seen, but if you can find some YouTube videos where people like, like the, they're, they film their chickens and they call them from a distance so they know they're getting fed yeah. or they're excited. Yeah. Like some of them are totally like pets. And oh, friends. yeah. And they'll film them running at Mach 5, like for <laughs> quite a distance. And it just makes you, it's so funny. It's so To see cute. them lift their wings and they, and they run at full <laughs> throttle and they're doing this kind of like weird balancing thing. I highly recommend you uh, you look that up if you'd like a, a, a few laughs. And while you're at it, look up the video of chicken chicken getting apple out of tree. It's oh, like a, yeah. it's a little That's short really video cute. of the low hanging fruit, which cracks me up all, <laughs> on its own. It's a low hanging apple. And this chicken is just determined to get it down. And it is somebody filmed it from behind it. <laughs> this is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Here's, here's an answer from earlier. Ooh. This is from Summer. Summer mm -hmm. says, Summer. when you have too many options and get overwhelmed and do nothing instead. <laughs> Yeah, we know that feeling. Uh -huh. uh, that's me. Anytime I go into Michael's, I walk, I go, okay. All right, I am going in. I'm going to get those two balls of yarn that I had in my brain, and I am only looking for this particular color. And I walk in, and it's like, <laughs> and I'm gone. Stimulation. <laughs> oh, preemie baby hats to donate. Yes, yeah. those are fun. Those are easy and yeah, quick. Everyone, everyone has a go-to in between, you know. Yeah. Coffee cozies, pot holders, love, lots of pot holders. I love lots pot of holders cloths. and dishcloths. I, my favorite dishcloth, I have two favorite <laughs> dishcloths patterns. Aww. We have a V-stitch dishcloth pattern and we have a falling leaves dishcloth pattern that we call the pretty simple dishcloth. I feel like we have like five, We have a ton. Six, we seven, have a eight, ton. Nine, but those ten. are my two absolute favorites. They're my go-to. And the, I, I just, I, I just automatically go and make one of those. Which, I don't even have to think about it. Which two were those again? The V-stitch dishcloth, mm -hmm. which suds so well. And the pretty simple falling leaves dish. Cloth. Okay, we need can't we need our employee of the month? Cam, Cameron, I know, I know where are here. you, Cameron? I know he's here. <laughs> Commented earlier. Oh, yeah. That those are that that one is my those those two are my go to. I make those all the time. They're they're both they're pretty. They're great. They work. They're real workhorses, and um, everybody I know always wants. Heather, and dish club. Heather says anything amigurumi. Wow, as a go-to. Hmm. I'm impressed. I, you know what? I went through a phase where I couldn't make enough little toys, and then I think, and then I fall back into it. Like yeah. right now, I can't make enough chicken. Tori says I work on whatever Jada video I watch at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very very sweet. Lots of dishcloths. Lots of blankets. <laughs> Lots of happy chickens. Lots of happy chickens. I love the chicken sound. So this is a super sticker from Lala. Lala. Lala Gama is uh, sending you um, kisses, blowing kisses with our little, <laughs> our little friend. Our little friend. 
It's it's aw. Our little pear friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Blowing. Candy. Carrie says a black chicken. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I'm gonna make one for sure. I have that somewhere. Oh, there's Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. So it's the HD C B stitch dishcloth. Yes. Published yes. published July. 2016. Oh my gosh. So that's that's a little ways back. That's it though. Yes, it's it's my go-to. I absolutely love it. Do I have enough thread? Hmm. Mm, yeah, I think so. Lorraine says we just had a tremor. Whoa. Whoa. Where are you? Where Lorraine? are you? Is everything okay? What part of the world? Do are you, you need like? to run outside? <laughs> save the yarn. Save the save the yarn. <laughs> I saw that um, there's a, a big volcano erupting in in um, the Canary Islands. Yeah. So it's. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, it's got some it's doing some damage. Boy, those volcanoes. Wow. I mean. They're terrifying and mesmerizing. And gorgeous, all at the same all at the time. Same time. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when that when the when the big one in in Hawaii, forgive me, I can't remember her name. When when she was going off last year, I was just glued to the the live stream, yeah. just watching it. Yeah. It's so beautiful and powerful. And some of it was even falling into the into the ocean. Yeah, it looked like a lava waterfall. Big steam. It was just like what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Yeah, incredible stuff. Thank you, Cameron. So the other one is a pretty simple dishcloth, That's it. published Thank you, May fourteenth, twenty nineteen. Cameron, our little employee. So if anyone is interested, just uh, type or copy paste what mm -hmm. Cameron typed into your um, YouTube search or or even just Google search. Yeah. And uh, the video should pop right up. Yeah, and that uses the falling leaves pattern, which I adore. I absolutely adore. Here she comes. Do that in a second. <laughs> Happy little chickens. <laughs> They're so cute over there. They're all talking to They're each other. They're all talking to each other. We got a super chat from Kelly. Kelly, thank you. Kelly says, <laughs> Kelly just got home from over the road over the road truck training. Glad to have some downtime chilling with my favorite couple. Oh, so well, thank you. Over the road training. I didn't know wow. we were your favorite couple. <laughs> I'm honored. We're we're the, the, the favorite goofballs out there. The favorite goof goofy goobers. There we go. Okay, the so there's Bob two uh, made reference. this evening. I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober. You're a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. I'm definitely a goofy goober. Okay, now I'm gonna make the dark brown chicken. Just oh, I can't wait. Online? I can't wait to tell you this live stream idea. <laughs> you're being, you're being. Oh, did I say that on mic? Okay. <laughs> hey. Uh-huh. That is quite the tease. This, that, that, my dear, is called super trolling. That is, that is, yeah, now you're trolling me. And because I don't, I honestly don't. You've been saying all day, oh, I had this idea, but I don't remember. <laughs> all right. This out of the way and so i'm using a darker a dark brown so this is i love dark colors i love working with dark colors i really don't have a problem dealing with dark <laughs> colors but um i i don't like to use them too often during tutorials because they don't show <laughs> up that well on camera we do not have a stuffed elephant but i love mm, the idea yes. of a little stuffed elephant i do too i think i know exactly yeah how to do i would too. love a little a little mini elephant I love elephants. Mm -hmm. All right. So don't mind me. I'm just counting. All right. So time we... flies when you're playing with chickens. <laughs> Did we get our. <laughs> I love that sound so much. <laughs> a chibi elephant. Yes. A chibi I'm, elephant. I'm casting my vote for a chibi elephant, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting uh, retrolled now. Oh, you are. <laughs> yes, Sherry is retrolling. Well, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a live stream, stream without with you a, trolled. some trolling. Usually, Shell I don't know where Shell is, but Shell usually trolls pretty hard. She trolls she's, the she, hardest. She, she, she trolls me like the whole stream. <laughs> But she, I guess she's on break right now or she's, vacation. She's or something. on vacation. <laughs> she's taking a break from the trolling. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> trolling is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. 
Diane says, I am trying knitting. Great. All right. We actually have a handful of knitting tutorials if you're interested. Yeah, they're very basic. They're yeah, very they're basics. super basic. Just to get you started. Um, and there's maybe about, I don't know, five, six, seven. Three, four. Oh, I was way off. Yeah, I think we've got. No, there's more than three because there's like, there's a handful. Oh, there's a dishcloth. There's a few like beginners. And then I think there's a couple of dishcloths. Or yeah, and like we, that. I think we knit. Um, if you go to our channel uh, homepage, click on playlists, and then look for knitting tutorials. I love knitting. I don't do it as often uh, because usually when I want to make something, it's so much faster to pick up my crochet. So I crochet much more than I knit, but I do love knitting. I, I just, any yarn <laughs> craft, I pretty much adore. Yeah, Chibi Dragon. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love that idea. It would be cute. But it would be a cute dragon. It would, of course. You'd have to give it the tiniest wings in the world. Yeah, the tiniest little wings. A really, and a really big body with super tiny wings. Like a giant snout and <laughs> like tiny wings. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so yeah, I Yeah, thank like... you, Sherry. The garter stitch and the pearl stitch yes, dish cloth. Yes. That's right. Thank you. Yes, yeah, yes. They're out there. Um, I think we answered the last community question. So do you want to move on to the next one? Um, a lot of people are liking the dragon idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so dragons are cute. Um, good, let, good little boy presents. Yeah, too. I think there was another one that I had. I don't know. I don't think I read that that one out yet. So let's see here. This list is getting really long. Let's see. Um there you are. Okay, so did I be I read out cats, I read out Vicky's, I read out Sherry's. Yeah, Sherry's was the So pole. the last one we have written down here is from Katie. Okay. It says, what is the most interesting, interest? Interesting project. So interesting project you have ever seen or done. What is the most interesting project you have ever seen or done? Well, um, I, I don't know about my own projects, and everybody in the community is welcome to answer this, so please do. Um, but I will say there's a, um, there was... Uh, an mm -hmm. artist, I think, in the Netherlands who just started crocheting around objects, like, and she completely crocheted around a bicycle, and I think she crocheted around a VW Bug, oh, and wow. covered them That's in all really this, cool. and it was like years ago I saw this, and I loved it, because I thought, now that's quirky you know mm -hmm. that's that's a real statement because mm -hmm. it has the neat effect of taking something hard like a bicycle or a car but then making it look soft and cozy at yeah. the same time yeah, it, was, it was really cool really cool artistic statement yeah i loved it um and i can't think of her name because i'm terrible with names <laughs> but yeah that's definitely the the coolest project i or the, the most interesting project i've i've i feel like i've ever seen and i've I've seen a lot, so I'm sure more will occur to me later, but um, that is a really neat thing. We got some more awesome uh, suggestions for chibis. Okay. A peacock. Ooh. Um, a cow. We have a cow, but it's not a mini, it's not a chibi. A chubby. chibi chubby but chubby. We do cow have chubby. a really, really, really cute cow pattern in our Etsy shop. Yeah, it is cute. I love that. She's quite that little pattern. She's quite bunty. Yeah. That's part of the farm. Actually, the the individual uh to stuffed toys from the Farm Friends ebook are also They're available really separately. Cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, there's yeah. also a horse. Yeah, there's a horse. Um, let's of see. Course. A horse, of course. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh -huh. Dolphins. We've had, we've been asked for dolphins many times. Dolphins are so sweet. Um, let's see here. Yeah, lots of thumbs up for the dragon. So a dragon. might have to put the dragon, dragon close to the top of the list. A troll. I've been asking. I've been asking Jada to do my troll in chibi version. I do have to do that. I offered her fifty cents. She negotiated up to a dollar. I did. And I had to do another animation for you, but <laughs> I just did one. That one counts? Yep, that one counts. The count. chickens? I have to do that. Do I have to do a new one? I love the chicken one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I am on to... Yeah, I guess it is a little bit like yarn bombing, that lady you were seeing in the Netherlands. Kind of, but I think sort she of was, a, she was doing her own stuff, so... Yeah, yarn bombing is more like you, you're like you know, gentle graffiti, like you're surprising people. Yeah. But she was actually working, like sitting there working yeah. on stuff. Like if I think it was her bicycle. Art, and, yeah, art, uh, I think it was her car. So yarn, yarn bombing is sort of you, it's kind of like... Uh, it's like it's like gorilla, gorilla yarn, gorilla crochet. You you 
you you're supposed to sort of sneak out under the cover of darkness and like yarn graffiti thing so you like you know you, you knit a statue a scarf and or a hat or something and you you know you go out and you dress up the statue or you you know um attach some of your your crochet to a fence or something you know under cover of darkness and then the next day it's supposed to be sort of this like the sun comes up and you've got all this pretty yarn graffiti um yarn bombing all over the place i like that yarn bombing is cute i think one of my favorite yarn bombings here's a question for everybody in the community uh if you've seen yarn bombing what was your favorite kind I saw someone had crocheted a pair of sneakers and hung it over power lines, which is that oh, yeah, classic yeah, yeah. people's, you know, kids would but steal someone's shoes sneakers, and throw it over the yeah, power lines, funny. but it was crocheted sneakers. That one was, I liked it because it, it was like, it has that, oh, that ouch of, you know, that's somebody's shoes, somebody's being bullied, but at the same time, it was like kind of a, it was almost like, it was like owning it somehow. I don't know. I thought that was really neat. I liked it. <laughs> I also like it when people cover stairs, um, the stairs, the staircases of uh, buildings with with yarn or like with crochet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Um, some people are sharing a bunch of idea, a bunch of stuff. Uh, scene this is from Summer. Uh, crochet versus costumes. Crochet versus costumes. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Um, what else? Crochet versus costumes. Mostly just um, more comments, uh, more suggestions on the chibi chubby. Oh, I think I like this dark brown chicken. This looks much, this looks very chickeny. Very, very chickeny. Is chickeny a word? I like I the mailbox it. yarn covers. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen any of those. What a great idea. First versus a maker. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, covering, that's, that's fun. Covering your mailbox. That is fun. Yeah. That's, that's, it's like, a, it's a mailbox cozy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I love that idea. I like seeing sometimes people wrap trees in a bit of crochet, like they've made them a sweater, which mm -hmm. I think is really cute. We had a, uh, this is from Diane. Diane asked uh, everyone, does anyone feel like you can't do a project without a pattern or a tutorial to follow? Well, not Jada. Jada just, uh, just starts it. whipping that yarn around and <laughs> chickens appear. I, once upon a time, I, I think I, I would follow, <laughs> I would follow a pattern, but not anymore. I don't follow patterns anymore. Wow. I make them. I, yeah. you know, if I want, if I want something, a shape or a toy or a, a piece of clothing, it doesn't matter what it is, then I will make it. That's it. Yeah. I, I she'll sit there in her little craft room and she'll fiddle and faddle and pull it out and <laughs> try again. And yeah, yeah, a lot of experimentation. Do you, do you also faddle or is it just the fiddle? There's definitely some faddling. Yeah. Yeah. Fiddle faddles? <laughs> More faddling when I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. No. If you need to follow patterns, follow well, patterns. Well, I mean, I my mean, gosh. That's why they're out That's there. the whole point of writing them down. It's, and it's the, it's how else are you going to learn? It's sort yeah. of like, it's like cooking. It's, I get asked this a lot. You know, what, what would you suggest for somebody who wanted to write their own patterns? Well, do you cook? If you cook, chances are you've got a handful of recipes that you don't need to look up. You know exactly what to do off by heart. That's how pattern writing ends up evolving. You've made mm -hmm. spaghetti, you know, uh, about uh, six or seven times and you've experimented with this and you've added a little extra that and maybe you've taken a little away of this. And then you finally get one that you really like, a recipe that's just delicious. And maybe you have some people over and they go, oh my gosh, that was so good. Can I have your recipe? And that's when you write it down. It's the same thing with a pattern because you've, you've refined something that you've done so many times that now you know it's exactly the way you like it and it's unique and special to, to your own tastes and flavors. So that's exactly what pattern writing is. You kind of keep making something, you keep experimenting, you keep sort of refining your technique until you get something that you, you really like and other people do too. And then you just write it down just like you would a, a recipe. <laughs> what is chibi? Chibi? is a Japanese word meaning little and cute and 
Diminutive. Diminutive. Yeah. Uh, so like so cute, small. It's sort of like a chibi um, means like a big head with a little body. The thing that the the, the the characteristics that make a baby cute. You know how babies have a big head and a slightly smaller body, and they and their eyes are big in comparison to the size of their head because I think you're born with the size of eyes you get. Period. I don't think your eyes continue to grow. They come out. I think. Do they? I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. I I was all eyeball. Yeah. When I was a baby. No doubt. <laughs> But um, babies are cute because they have a big head and big eyes and they have these little bodies and little chubby arms and they're chubby and they've got little chubby thighs and little chubby feet. And that's chibi. It's like big head, little body, chubby and all of the cute things like eyes are, are exaggerated. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a Japanese word. Yeah. yeah. Chibi. And it's fun to say chibi. It is fun to say chibi. Chibi. It even sounds cute. It does. Chibi. I, I don't know how they pronounce it. I wonder if they pronounce it similar or differently. Uh, I'm, I, I'm thinking in Japanese. I would like, say, did I do this? I would say they say chibi. Chibi. I don't know. They might put the emphasis somewhere else. I do not if speak If anyone speaks Japanese, Japanese yes. out there, let us know. <laughs> Sound it out for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know we, we have some people that follow from Japan. Yeah, I don't know what time it is. It's probably quite, It would be like the middle of the night. Quite early there. Super early in the Super morning. Super early. It's, it would probably be around like close to 7 a.m., I would think. I'm, Rick again. says that is how they pronounce it in Japanese. Chibi. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> it would be kind of pointless to have a Japanese word that we didn't a say snake. properly. Yes. Oh! Cute, yes. And this is from Andrew. Andrew says, "Can you do a chibi snake?" Yeah, I would love. I think that's a great idea. Yes, that would be a bit of a challenge. I yeah. like that idea. We'll have to keep the snake away from the chickens. Oh, so. and the cats. Because they're gonna wanna, they're gonna wanna eat it. They're gonna attack it. A zebra. A zebra. Aww. A duck. Ducks are one of my favorites. Yeah, ducks are Mr. and I am duck obsessed. Favorite. I love ducks so much. You do love ducks. They're kind of there's just something to love. about them that just makes me laugh. Well, they're they're they so crack me up. Cute. They're constantly talking, they're... and they're like they look around while they talk. <laughs> they're very they're very social. They're social. They have a lot to say. <laughs> I love that they're a, a canoe, an airplane, and a land vehicle all in one. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like the ultimate machine. They're the ultimate. They're I mean, a lot of a lot of birds. They are, can but, walk, fly, and float. It's, but it's, then when you see them, you're like, how do you get how, around? Like, how do you carry a canoe around everywhere you go? Imagine, <laughs> imagine us cutting out a hole in a canoe. Yeah, a big canoe. A big canoe. And just like kind of walking around everywhere. Imagine getting trying to get through doors and stuff. <laughs> We would smash everything. Well, my, my favorite part is their is their tail feathers. So when they 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 kind of shake their tail feathers together, or they they oh, you know they kind of like ah, shake the themselves Cherry off. Cherry says, "Watch the YouTube video, The Truth About Ducks." Okay. Aww, okay. I will. That sounds cute. The truth. About it is eight thirty nine a.m. in Tokyo. So, eight thirty nine a.m. So they're getting up Thank and getting you. ready or heading heading into Actually, work. Actually, from what I understand, not. a lot of them are up at five a.m. to make like. So they're make, already halfway through their work. So <laughs> they've been up for hours at this. Yeah. Time. A rabbit. We have we have little rabbits, but we don't have. Like, I we don't I, have super small ones, but we do we, have uh, chibi rabbit. We don't have a tutorial for the chibi chubby tubby rabbit. No, but yet. we have the bunny. But I do have. We have two or three bunnies. We do have an amigurumi bunny, but I have I have created a chibi chubby tubby bunny. Oh, I, I like, just haven't done the tutorial for it yet. I like the cardinal idea. I like the giraffe. Oh yeah, that one looks great. That one really. Looks I amazing. like that because the yellow and red really stand out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna put his little eyes in. Yeah, oh, I'll, so I'll help you. You help me out. Yeah. <laughs> Here, hold on at the. <laughs> I can't hold him. Hey, that's the wrong sound effect. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. He's cutie. A 
cardinal. Yeah. A cardinal. Raccoon. That's a good idea. Aww. No, wait. We, do we have a raccoon? No, we don't. We have a panda. We have a panda. We have a, yes. we have a pocket pet panda, which I love. A chicky, a little chick. Yeah. That's a cute idea, too. Oh, I'm trying to thread a needle without my glasses on. Come on. It's getting a little dark. I can do this. Oh. Do, 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 do. This is the kind of live stream you guys get when we don't drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you're okay with that. Yes, I know. <laughs> this is this is us just hanging out on a Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday evening, I guess. You kind of want to welcome to behind the scenes at the Jada and Stitches show. <laughs> It's not full behind no, the scenes. No, I'm. I, it's I, quasi behind the scenes. I wanted to get a bunch. You don't, of... you don't want to see the full uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> you do not want to see that one. That's that's messy. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a disaster. <laughs> a chimpanzee, a platypus. We have a fox. We have a fox. Lauren. We have a fox. We've got a fox. Yeah, a frog. Yeah, we've been asked. Oh. A unicorn. We actually have a, an amazing tutorial for a unicorn. It's a big stuffed toy. It's a big stuffed toy. It's a it's an amazing pattern. It's a bit of a slog to get through. Well, it's it's when it's, it's done. It's a we really took our time with amazing. it. Amazing. So it's a three part series. So so it's like if you're new to making stuffed toys, we highly recommend that unicorn baby magical baby unicorn stuff series because it's three whole videos that take you through the entire world of this unicorn from its hair right back to its tail, the whole thing. So if you've, uh, if you've never made a big stuffed toy before, we recommend that one. Plus you, you don't have to make a unicorn. If you want to make it a horse, mm -hmm. you can just leave the horn off. Is it getting chilly yet in Canada? Um, um, not quite no, yet. At least it, not here. It's still, it's still hot. I'm sure our friends in Nunavut might be having yeah, some cooler weather. It's still but... warm where we are. But, um, um, the northern, uh, northern halfway, halfway through and up the, would probably start to get chilly. The night, evenings so. are getting cool. So you a know, wiener dog. Yes. Oh, a dachshund. Mm -hmm. I love them. Um, it's, it gets cool in the evenings, but not cold. Uh, but we did come home the other night and I didn't have a little, I didn't have a little jacket on and I was a bit chilly. Um, I don't want to poke myself out. Oh, there it is. But uh, it's still really nice during the day. This is this is probably, in my opinion, the best weather of the year. Um, if you ever want to visit Canada and you've never visited Canada, uh, it's, it's lovely in the summer, but come in the fall. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, come in September, September October. and October. You can see all the, the trees changing color and the, the days are sunny and gorgeous and nice and nice for walking around and the the evenings are cool. They're perfect for bonfires. All of the good food is, is in. The harvest is in this time of year. Yeah, if you're going to come visit Canada, come visit in September and October. Two best two best months of the year. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And there's my little brown hen. I love it. I love the dark brown so, one. What have I got? So I think far? that might be my favorite. Yeah, I think she might be my favorite. So there's yeah. one, two, and three so far this so evening. Well, you've made three yeah, so far? I've made three. What? Eyes and everything. Mm -hmm. My little flock. All right. What color shall I do next? Just random. It doesn't have to be one I've selected because I've got every color under the rainbow. Well, let's see what pops <laughs> up. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've got some uh, suggestions here. We have pink, mm -hmm. gray, pink, Ooh, gray. blue, black. Red, pink, blue, blue. A yeah, blue thanks, chicken. Cameron. The magical baby, the magical baby unicorn, published July, twenty fourteen. Whoa! Bum bum bum. Yeah, we highly recommend you check that out because that's an amazing seven um, years old stuffed toy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got her. I've got her right behind me, actually. There's. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I made two. I absolutely love her. There she is. So and and of course you can even decorate her. You don't have to, but if you're making it magical, magical baby unicorn, you have to decorate mm -hmm. her. But uh, she's got curly curly hair and a curly curly tail and pretty little little hooves, and she's just. She, oh, I don't know. This is. This is this might be my favorite stuffed toy ever. Probably mm -hmm. because of the size too. Yeah. 
We also have the written pattern mm -hmm. if you prefer written pattern. Yeah, but the there written is pattern a has wings too if you wanted to. Yeah, to do the wings. But uh, yeah. Um, but we do have a video, full video tutorial. I think it's three parts. Yeah, it's three parts. Three parts series. Thank you, Kim. Um, so we've got some speckled ideas like multicolor, yeah, like mix yeah, the yeah. colors. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, black nice and gray speckled yarn. Um, oh, all right. Rainbow, gold, what about this purple, one? orange. Can everybody see that? Oh, I like that. That's kind of a twisty tweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that, guys? Yes? That's one. That's kind of a speckled look. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the fancy ones. Yeah. We're getting some, ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Variegated or checkered. <laughs> checkered would be hard. Variegated or checkered. That checkered would awesome. be tricky. I, I've got... Uh... All oh, my variegated so yarns. So far, everyone's liking that. That yeah. one, okay. Well, I'll whip this. I'll whip up one in this one. Let's see what she looks like. Experiment. Hey, where's the end? Oh, I bet you it's in here. Yep. All right. You're sitting on the floor. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, this will be cute. This is going to be another one where the red and the yellow stands out well. Okay, let's get this little one. Um, did we finish with the questions? All of the I questions. Think we did. Questions. There were four, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah we got them all. And six. Great. Wow, we don't usually get through all of it in one so, sitting. Cat, Vicky, Sherry, and Katie. Those are the only ones we had written down here. All right. Um well in that case. A jellyfish. I like that. Oh, I like that. That would be that also would be. That would be kind of challenging. A too. zombie. I think we have a zombie. We've got a. We've got Frankie. We have Frankie, who kind of looks uh, creepy, cute. Yeah. So we've got the pocket uh, pet series. We yeah. made. We made a Frankenstein's monster. So we he called kinda, him Frankie. He, he kind of looks like a zombie. Ish. Oh, we have the zombie bunny. Oh yeah. In the in the Etsy shop. Yeah, we have yeah. a we have a pattern for yeah, a zombie. A, bunny. a little bunny. Uh, creepy cute. Creepy cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a that's a good one too. How much longer till we know your idea? Well, I, I want to surprise you guys. Yes, um, how much longer? Because I don't even know what you're talking about. But I need, to, I need to run it past the boss uh, first. Oh. I need, I need full approval. Uh, and then I need a signature and a stamp. <laughs> and uh, a few other things. Well, now I'm, I'm, I am quite curious because you kind of... I just hope it doesn't slip my mind again well, because I couldn't believe how long it took me to... Write it down. Write it down. I don't have a pen. I guess I could type it you into my phone. You could type it or type it into the little... No, I'll remember. I'll yeah, remember. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see if you like it. You might not like it. Well, I like most of your ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Be honest, you like all my ideas. <laughs> most of your ideas. I like all most of, of your them. ideas. All. Just like you like most of my ideas. <laughs> the chickens agree. But, and when I say speak to the boss, this is this is who I'm talking it's about. The it's the chickens. I see. All right. <laughs> a turtle. We have a stuffed toy turtle. Uh, we but do. It's not small. It's um No, it's I, got I don't know, turtle. six, seven, eight inches. See around? Um I thought I just saw. Oh yeah, here he is. Oh, here's a question. Here's a question. What's your favorite yarn store? Do you even have a favorite? Yeah, I like that little turtle. Yeah, this is uses the African flower motif, and uh, we made several of these. But I love this little guy. Um, he's such a cute little. He's even got like a little tail. Uh, my favorite yarn store. Hmm. I've been to, I've been to, I guess, hmm. <laughs> if I'm, if, as far as, so there's a lot of different criteria that make up a good <laughs> store. And I think actually I would like everybody to weigh in on this one in the chat. So when you think of a really good craft store, what are some of the criteria you consider? Is it variety? Is it um, lighting? To me, lighting is very important. To me, it's a cafeteria. Yeah, you do like it. There should be a cafeteria next to the yarn store. 
Um, I used to really like back when we had Zellers, I used to really love the yarn section in Zellers because mm -hmm. I felt like they had a nice selection of a lot of different mm -hmm. things. Yeah, yeah. Um, I miss the Zellers. I really days. miss Zellers, yeah. <laughs> Zellers, Zellers had really great yarn. Michaels, they don't all have the same, um, they don't all have the same yarn on offer, but they do have a very good yarn um, selection, at least here. Lens Mills. I went to a Lens Mills once. That's uh, there's a handful of those in Ontario, and they have they have a lot of yarn, but I did not feel the lighting was very good. I had to keep taking yarn away down to the end of the aisle and standing out in the aisle and trying to get light on it. So um, that that wasn't the the most the fun. The selection was good, but it was dark. In Best there. yarn store I've ever been to in my life, Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim in that Paris. That was a really nice store. Mary Maxim in Paris, Ontario. If yeah. you ever have a chance to visit, um, I, I I think they're open right now, but they have yeah, they that, have that's an exquisite a, that's a really nice crafting. collection of a whole lot of things, including yarn. The yarn is like half the store. But more to the point, it's easy to drive around a cart. It is largely carpeted, which is nice underfoot especially when you're a crafter and you're going to be standing around to sort of making decisions. They have one nice big wide open aisle down the middle so you can kind of see everything as you go by. They have different departments. They have people in those departments and everybody there knows what they're talking about. So if you have a yarn question, they can really answer you. Um, I absolutely love it. I really en I en I enjoyed the whole process of going down there. They even have a nice little bathroom to visit. It had little flowers and everything in it. And <laughs> A nice bathroom is an important component of a good store. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I, I absolutely, I, I, I love being able to, to get to a store and know that there's a nice bathroom there because, you know, let's face it, if you're driving around North America, it's it's not always like the stores aren't necessarily right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Is that my age showing? I don't know. Now, even I guess if you're traveling with kids, you know, the kids always need a little bathroom too. Oh, wow. This is going to be even smaller. Chickens need bathrooms. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> so the chickens are really excited. We got a super chat from Tori. Tori, thank you. <laughs> Tori says, Lily said to tell you hi. Hi, Lily. And if you could do a stuffed hedgehog video for her. Oh, my gosh. A stuffed oh, hedgehog. Oh, I would love a stuffed hedgehog. Oh. Don't we have a hedgehog? No. I thought we had a... No, we don't. I a think porcupine or something. We've, we've, we've had that kind of in our minds to do. Okay. But we but haven't we done it yet. we don't actually have it. No. Okay. Because I, I was... I want it to be extra cute. Yes. Hedgehog yes. Are so cute. I remember now. Okay. So, yes. Absolutely, we will put hedgehog will on the list. Make sure that gets bumped. I love bumped that up idea. A few. Hedgehogs are very cute. <laughs> they are. They're so cute. We have a bat. Yes. Yes. Um, I will post it in the chat so you can link to it. We have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chibi chubby tubby animal videos that you can um, follow on YouTube. We have um, the chicken, the reindeer, the fox, the pig, the bat, the cat, and the owl. Snail. I like that idea. Oh. I mean a squirrel. Come on. A squirrel obviously. and snail, obviously. Squirrels like, for squirrel sure. Squirrel is an absolute must. Speaking of, does anybody else have a squirrel wake them up every morning at about 5 a.m. like we do? Like full full throttle, screaming out like loud, screaming making their head sure up. everyone gets away from their tree. A spider. That's a good idea. Ooh, I too. like that. Yeah. Yeah, we should do a spider because we have a we have a, a spider web um tutorial which makes a really pretty little kind mm. of seasonal coaster yeah, yeah, yeah. but a little spider for that web would be cute there is no shortage of things i could i could be crocheting night and day Chipmunks, and yes. never ever see the end of it like, no chippies no little chippies Did you ever go to a yarn store and it smells musty? Yes. Um, I think that's just, in fact, 
all of the independent yarn stores I have ever visited, so the little mom and pop shop ones, they're typically in older buildings mm -hmm. uh, because that's the rent is a little cheaper. And that's usually why they smell on the musty side mm -hmm. because they're an older building, especially when they have wooden floors and stuff. Yeah. Um, they usually like have creaking floors. Yeah. And... Creaking floors. It's, it's, it's the, it's the building. Um, so it's, and I mean, it's a bummer too, because you don't want to bring home expensive yarn that has sort of a funny musty smell to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's always good to learn how to wash your yarn or make your project and then wash it uh, afterwards before you give it away and follow the instructions on the label because not all yarn is the same. We have a mouse. It's one of our old videos. We have, we do have a little mouse. Um, it's not a cheapy think, chubby, tubby. We, we named, we named a chubby. Charles or something? No, Klaus. Klaus, Klaus the mouse. Klaus the mouse. Yes. Look up um, crochet mouse tutorial. Yes. Data and stitches. That is, that's a good one. A recommend. Canada goose. That, that'd that be hard to do tiny. That would You be. could do it a large version, but doing it tiny, I think, would be a little tricky. I think this might actually be the best one yet. Aha. Uh -huh. See? We have to ask everyone in the chat. You always have to ask. It's a speckled chicken. It's a speckled hen. It's an old speckled hen. Old speckled hen. Anybody? Anybody? Old speckled hen? <laughs> I love how goofy you were in the plush microphone video. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Oh, you know what? There's... Actually, there there is a there is even more to that video, but we had to um, we had to edit it out. Yeah, we had to edit it out. We had uh, that's an older video. And back be just about the same time that YouTube was starting to kind of keep track or disallow the use of, of certain music in large amounts. I think you can use like little segments. Yeah, of music you can and use stuff, tiny but, clips, but you can't use like. But uh, we clips. we had an intro uh, that had music in it that um, unfortunately made made the, the video un, unviewable in a few countries or something. It was just when they were starting in with all the licensing. That'd be that, funny if we could, I don't know if it would I'm be sure allowed if it. we could put it, put it up as a, like a members only private, like quasi private. I wonder if that would be an issue. I wonder if they would allow we'd have that. To, we'd have to check with YouTube. Yeah. But, but that would be, um, it would be fun to be able to Yeah, that'd be fun to show it was, that it was because goofy. it was funny. <laughs> but um if you like our, if you like goofy stuff, Andrew, we have um, we have a lot of skit intros. I just don't remember all the. Uh, one of them is the yarn shopping. We went yarn shopping after a year or something like that. Oh yeah, that one has a skit in front of it. The big, the giant pencil pillow. The giant pencil that has a skit. Yeah, the mittens. The giant one. The mittens. I'm not talking about like animation. Well, I'm no, the giant pencil. Skits. The giant pencil. You don't remember? No, no. I don't. That's <laughs> there's cute. so many. But there's um one of my favorites is the uh our infomercial. Oh, the dust mitt. The dust mitt. That that one that one that I like. It makes me laugh still. <laughs> we we scripted that whole thing on the way home in the car. <laughs> that 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 was so if you if you like the goofy stuff, look that look up those videos. Yeah, that, that was Dust Mitt, Jaden Stitches Dust Mitt. That's also just a handy thing. Jaden Stitches a big pencil, the chubby the, pencil the, the or giant the pencil giant pillow, pencil pillow. Which was also a fun thing. I'm gonna have to watch that again because I it. don't remember the intro at all. How about that? It's the uh, gap in the memory. <laughs> you know about the gaps. I know about the gaps. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Someone earlier mentioned the ladybug. I think that would be cute too. Oh yeah, and that's the fun thing too. The ladybugs would be the same size as like you know the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> A crow, yes. Oh, I love crows. The only problem, the only problem with the darker animals though, is that you kind of have to use a dark color, and they don't necessarily show up very well on on the <laughs> Bethany goes I love the witch when you're talking about spells and yep that's right that's uh Professor Stitch that's Professor Stitch Professor Stitch kind of pops pops in once in a while yes. she's busy but she does um, show up usually around around, this around the end of uh, the, the close to the end of October yeah so there's a few skits with with her too Just. We almost need to make we almost need to make a list and then put what the, what the intros are so we can remember. Yeah. 
Well, after when you when you've got as many videos out there, as some some other instruments to go with the microphone. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. You should make a blooper reel. Ooh, I don't <coughs> oh. know. I don't know. If blue, I don't we, know if YouTube would allow the uh, we, would allow our bloopers. Our bloopers. We do have um, we do have a shaker, a musical shaker that you can you can technically use as a rattle, but it's a it's a musical shaker. Yeah, we um, do have that. We do have a video for that. It's like an egg shape, so it's easy to hold in your hand. Oh my gosh, these little mouths—they crack me up. Maybe a ukulele. That's cute. I love everybody's ideas. You have a whole brood now. A brood is a group of hens. Yes. Yes, brooding. You have a whole brood. <laughs> I need multiple. Got to put her eyes on. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I do have a little brood. I've got I've got 6 of them here now. It's cute. The old speckled hen. Yes, Diane remembers. Uh huh. A guitar, a ukulele. <laughs> that'd be quite a. That'd be that. That would be some work. That that would uh, be, especially if I made it to size. <laughs> yeah. But the, the fun thing about the the microphone is that it's it's to size, so you can kind of play with it. Mm hmm. You should make a chicken applique for the folk art blanket. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, uh, that would be small because the horse is a pretty. But I could, I could, huh? Hmm. Look at all those happy little chickens. <laughs> happy little chickens. <laughs> a drum set? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Then we could have the uh, the chibi chibis play that play the they could use it in their band yes they could yeah because that what they need is another is, a, is another thing to be to be noisy with <laughs> egg-shaped baby rattle thank you cameron thank you cam published 2017 2017 yes, egg-shaped baby rattle that's right that's a real rattle too there you go. yeah it really works nice way to keep time bongos all right Switch your little eyes out. Squeeze your little mouth into shape. Ta -da! All right, and there we go. A little speckled hen. Oh my gosh. I love it. See the side? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that some of these would make really cute little little ornaments to hang on the Christmas tree, especially if you know somebody who's really into really into chickens like I am. Um, so I've got some thinner yarn here, and I thought I would just how was that? Here's a little note from Jerry. Jerry says, "Hello, Jada and Mister and Stitches. You two are so much fun. Thank you for all the work." That you you two put into your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. We do put a lot of work into them. We do. It's a labor of love. Labor of love. You know what else is a labor of love? Coffee. Chicken sound effects. Chicken sound effects. How many whip blankets is too many? Asking, not asking no. for a friend. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, how many I is too don't many? Know. It's up to you. You know what? I guess it. I guess it depends. Like, do you really want? Have you got a deadline? That's you know, because if you have a deadline, then then that can feel a little overwhelming. But I don't know. I don't think if you've got the space for it, then what does it matter, right? <laughs> There we go. There's my little my little hanging chicken. I love it. So I can I can hang her on the tree, or I might just hang her around the craft room. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Kimberly says, LOL, I'm sitting outside and my rooster started clucking and calling the hens when you set off the hen sound. <laughs> He's trying to call them to make sure that they're all they're Where all you? like you know yeah. shape and sound. Aww. Oh my god. That's gosh. hilarious. What? What's going on? <laughs> 
Where is she? What? Hey. Yeah. Starts counting them. One, <laughs> two, three, counting. four, five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are awesome. So you can hang them if you what, want. What's it called? A, 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 a rood? A brood. A brood. A brood. A brood. A brood of hens. What's a brood? Three or more? Probably. So I can add that later. Hang it from the car mirror. Chicken ornament for yeah, trees. Adding it to, I, I hang it from the car mirror. Too many. It's never enough. That's for the whips, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like my little, I like this little one. The little speckled yeah, guy. Me too. I think that one turned out really well. Me too. Good choice, everybody. So I've got, I've got, oh, and he's even tiny because it's a slightly skinnier yarn. I've got two little, two little light brown hens. <laughs> and I've got a nice dark brown hen. I like how, how she turned out. My white hen, which was the first one I made. So I like that little girl. And then these two little ones tonight. This was made with slightly thinner yarn. So they, they're even smaller, which I kind of like. I think that's cute. So a little speckled hen and a little red hen. I like that. New little brood. Diane would like to see a laughing emoji our, from our custom emojis. Oh. You can get the um, uh, the YouTube ones. They have the laughing emoji, but custom would be fun. I think that's a good idea. We'll have to put some A laughing that. emoji, yeah. Mm -hmm. Goodness me. It's a little tricky to do. I'm looking at the YouTube one. It's a typical, like... Smiling yellow face. Well, I find that the laughing, the, the really laughing emoji looks like it's like rolling on the floor, like it's kind of sideways. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how they, there's two of them. One looks like it's sideways and really squeezing its eyes. All right, I'm going to do one more tonight. So let's Whoa, pick a Whoa, you got the energy for yeah, one more? Yeah, i do one more. You are a machine. So I just love these little chickens. So what color? What color am I going to do it? I've got, so now I've got a white one. I've got two beige ones. I've got a red one, a speckled one, a dark brown one. And I've got... We have some latecomers. Hey! Hello! Welcome! Hey, welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to our uh, our little... Uh, You're in luck. Chill Jada chicken decided crochet. to do one more. Mm -hmm. One more chicken. Yeah, one more chicken. I'm just gonna wrap this stuff up. And without even without even having coffee. No, I had a cup of tea. What kind of tea did you have? I had Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Oh, so there's a little bit of uh, yes, a little bit of zazz. A little bit of zazz, not too much. Tea doesn't really hands. keep me up. It just kind of gives me a nice little yeah. refresh. A fuzzy one. <laughs> That'd oh, be fun. a fuzzy chicken. You'd have to like be a little trickier, but I could do that. You could do it. Oh, have I got fuzzy How about like around? how about like a crazy color? Like a color that a chicken is not. Like a cho a color that a chicken is not, like blue. Like blue or uh, blue or uh, uh, coral or something. That way. Put those nice yarns you have there. The camo stuff. I love that stuff. It looks nice. This one? This one? Up up into the Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's I don't nice think it would work as a chicken. No, though. I think it's, it's it's kind of slightly cell striping, and so it wouldn't necessarily turn as much. But let me see. Any suggestions for color? The I've rooster, gone. purple. Purple is a suggestion. You know what? I am very Eyelash yarn. short on purple yarn. I do have blue, purple, light brown, silver. I do have fluffy green. Yarn. What about this one? Rainbow, orange. What about this? Bright. Is that that's fluffy. That's super fluffy. And it's like kind of pink and corally. Is that the one you were using for the game? I did use some of this in yeah. the game. I have a lot of this. I really liked it. I bought a bunch of it. It's, it's divine. Patton's divine. I yeah, don't know if they make it anymore. It's super fluffy. It's very fluffy. Let's um, see. We're getting some yeses. Yeah. Okay. So that's a contender. It's kind of a pink. That's a pinkish color. Yeah. Let me. Let me just. Uh, Give me one second, guys. I'll be. I'm gonna go find some other colors here. I will entertain you while Jada's gone. <coughs> me, me, me. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> we have a super chat. Super chat save the day. This is from Luann. Can you hear? You don't have to. You don't have to raise. So I was just wondering if you could hear me. I wanted to get some crazy. Oh, look yarns. at all the nice colors you have. So we'll vote on these. So we got a. Hey, Luann, thank you. 
Luann says, hi all, finally made it. Woohoo! Well, welcome to the hen party. <laughs> and what hen party it is. I've got six of them here. Okay, everybody, we're going to vote. So I've got, I'm going to make my last chicken of the night with one of these colors that I have in my lap. I'm not singing like a chicken. These are good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not singing like a chicken. Yeah. So I've got blue. So blue would be kind of yeah, cute, yeah. actually. A little blue chicken. So there's That's blue. Mm -hmm. There's gray. So, you know, a little more reality-based. Yeah. A little gray chicken. Mm -hmm. It's kind of Someone a nice silvery color. Before, yeah. So I've got blue. Yeah, I've got silvery that gray. Good. That looks nice. Um, I've got this pretty coral. I Ooh. think I have enough here to make a little chicken. That's nice. So it's kind of a... It's hard to see with the coloring on the camera, but that's a coral. It's coral. It's yeah. like, uh, let me see if I can. Might be, I'm trying to get my hand out of the yeah, light. Yeah, that takes the color away. And then that makes it too red. So, oh, well. It's coral. We're doing the best we can. It's coral, yeah. Um, I've it's got coral. this. This is the leftover. Um, I've been sort of eating up this ball for a while. This is. Make them all vote. Um, I don't know how many colors we can put in the, how many. Um, I've got five here. So you have five. How many, yeah. how many options can we add? Five? Let me see. I'm not sure. Um, this is self-striping yarn. It's yellow and orange. It's the tail end of a self-striping yarn ball. So we yellow can do and orange. Four. We can do four. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll have to pick four. And then I had this crazy stuff. Oh, my goodness. Look at that rainbow color. Um, Someone mentioned, uh, a few people mentioned rainbow earlier. So I do have rainbow. I don't know how well it would oh, translate. Oh, I like this. The Stardew Valley blue chicken. Yeah. <laughs> A Stardew Valley That's blue from, chicken. Uh, Jessica Rabbit. Blue. Okay, there, there is are. Is that why I'm thinking about a blue chicken? Is there like, is that, is that what I'm thinking about? Well, I don't know. Maybe you play that game a lot. I know, no, I think Dana has like a kajillion hours into the into hours Stardew in Valley. I think, I think the chickens are are just brown and white. Are okay, tell you what. So I... far, we're getting a lot of votes for blue, okay. coral, mm -hmm. rainbow, and let me see what else pops up. What else do you have? I there? had gray and I had this yellowy orange. So I've got. Okay, between the yellow orange or the gray, what would you like to see in the poll? Yeah, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. That's yeah. a great idea. So once again, I've got crazy rainbow. I've got yellow orange. Ooh, I think that might be a little story mission you haven't done yet. Coral, really? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should spoil it for her, oh, guys. That's I like am one looking, of her favorite games. I am games. looking for an ostrich. Don't, I am looking for the ostrich. I found out that I can, I can, heart, like, okay, yeah, don't tell me, don't tell me, I'm going to find it. Okay, so there's coral, I've got silver and blue. So pick four, and then we'll put them in the polls, and then everybody can vote, and I will make my final chicken of the evening out of that color. So once again, blue, silver, Coral, We're orangey, getting a lot of yellow. votes for blue. Yeah, okay. And then this rainbowy stuff. So whichever four you think well, you see the most Well, definitely of. rainbow, blue. Contender. Yeah, those are two contenders. Okay. Uh, the yellowy, or so I think when they say yellow orange, they mean the, oh, wait, there is yellow yeah, orange. Yeah, yellow okay. orange. And then a lot of people were saying the coral earlier. So the coral was So popular. does that leave out the gray? And then, so we'll, that's just, we'll it's between the these out. two. So, so yellowy orange versus gray. Yeah. Probably this one. So what would you guys like to see in the poll? Yellowy orange or gray? <laughs> Still getting votes for blue. It might be blue. That's exciting. Okay, well. Blue, silver, gray, silver. So gray, gray, silver, gray, 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 yellow, gray, gray, yellow, so gray. gray. So okay. we'll say gray. So those are the four that go into the All poll. All right, so now we're going to do the poll. So uh, I'm gonna make my nose choose or make my the beak. next chicken color. So while we're waiting, I will make the beak for my final chicky poo of okay. the evening. So the first one is coral. Is coral. Next one will do rainbow. Yep. Rain, rain bow. Then we'll do gray or silver. Uh, yep. We'll call it gray and slash then silver. And uh, the next one is blue. Yeah. That was a lot of votes. Too. All right. All right. So voting is now open. The poll is now official and open. So cast your vote, everyone. We'll let that run for yeah. five, ten minutes. Let it run for a couple of minutes. I've got my little my little mouse ready to go. In the meantime, go. I will entertain everyone. 
<laughs> including myself. I will thread up a needle and have it ready to go. So I'm ready to go to add my... This might take me five to ten minutes. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Aha! Hey, that was faster than I thought. If you can click, click in the um, click into the poll. So cast your vote in the poll, which should be at the top of the chat box. It's like a little bar. It looks. I mean, on my screen, it's blue. I don't know if it's blue on your screen. So we got 74 votes so far. 74, all yeah. right. So we'll let that go for a while. Don't mind me, I'm just putting my yarn away. <laughs> Trying to be organized. <laughs> oh. Lime green. She has lime green. I do, actually. Of course you do. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. There's like 800 lime greens over there. Yeah, I have a lot of. I do have a lot of green. Okay, so these are the four. General Goofy, I hereby promote you to President Goofy. Oh. That's from camera. Thank say, that's, you. That's... At least it's it's nice to know I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> president Goofy. <laughs> Why not? I like it. I am now officially the president. President Goofy. President Goofball. All right. Uh, got my, my beak. That. So I can put you away. There we go. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's see how many votes we have cast here. So far, we have 94 votes. Hey, so that's pretty good. Let's try and get over 100. You want everyone. to get over 100? So um, once again, a lot of people are voting in the chat. So I don't know if I should kind of read out both, and or we're gonna go just. We'll the go poll. with the poll. We'll go with the poll. All right, everyone. Gonna, only the poll. If you're gonna vote put your, counts. Your, your, if you're gonna write it in the chat, that's fine too. But but make sure you click on the the poll. <laughs> Once again, we've got silver, coral, blue, or rainbow. Four choices. Mm -hmm. Coral, rainbow, gray slash silver, and blue. I wonder if I can cast a vote. No, I can't. <laughs> Is that the vote's in? They're happy little chickens. <laughs> They're having a good time behind the yarn over there. They're pecking and scratching, looking for seeds. Welcome to all the latecomers. Yeah, hey, Welcome. howdy. It's a, it's a Tuesday kind of evening. kind of doing a quasi-marathon tonight. It's a, we're just... We've been streaming for a, a while. Have we? Yeah. No, I just feel like we're If I tell out. you, I tell you, you won't believe it. I quite... Do you want to guess? Take a guess. Hour and 45 minutes. What? An hour 47. Whoa. Okay, see, I told I'm you impressed. I have a good sense of time. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's just the longer time that I don't have a good sense of. <laughs> the tea's done. Oh, no, I still have some tea here. All right, are we over 100 votes? I wanna, I'm want i eager to get this last chicken started. I've got my little mouth ready to go. I've got my, my needle threaded so I can put on her eyes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> We got a super sticker. <laughs> is it a chicken? <laughs> it is from Renee. Hi, big, Renee. Big thank you to uh, Renee. It's thank the you. cute little um, lemon and lime characters, and they're they're uh, looks like they're uh, marching and, and uh, I like that. trumpeting. <laughs> and the lemon looks like an adult, and the little lime looks like a little baby. It's That's really cute. cute. <laughs> thank you for that, Renee. Thank Renee. You. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. So what I'd like doing? it to get to at least over 100 votes. So we're at 109. Okay, okay everyone. So I'm going to close the poll in about 10, 15 seconds. So cast your vote for the color yeah, of the next chicken. So the next chicken. 
What color? Jada's next chibi, oh, next chubby, chubby is... chicken. Oh my gosh, these guys are so cute. I love how they just sit. They sit on their little bums. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Close it up. Yeah, I'm going to close it up. Last five seconds to vote. We have 111 votes. Four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it takes a second to sort of sure. generate. Here we go. So the next chicken color mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is rainbow, rainbow at 43%. Whoa. Tied for second is coral and blue, twenty two percent, and then gray is at eleven percent. Gray is at the end. I did not expect it to be a rainbow. Well, I guess people want to see a big mix of colors. See how this turns out. We did say we were going to do a chicken that's not uh, a normal chicken, we like did. with all the different colors. All right. Well, here we go. We, we were going to do blue, up. but hey, there's, everyone voted. There's so technically blue in this. So yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. This I can't is, wait to see how this guy turns this out. This is going to be very cute. <laughs> All right, here we go. So last chicken of the night. Crazy rainbow. Now, does anybody out there have a nice little question to ask that everybody in the community can take part in? So I like, I like, uh, I like general questions. I like goofy questions. We love doing silly questions here. So if anybody's got a fun question they'd like to ask everybody, please type it in the chat. Mr. And Stitches will pick out one or two and. Uh, We'll answer them together. I love those. Those are fun, especially when they, they kind of engage your imagination. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a wild looking chicken. If we go by, I mean, we, we did say that only that we were going to count the poll votes. But if we did go by the um, the chat, I don't know if not, maybe not everyone knows how to use the poll. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it'd be a toss up between the blue and, and gray. Really? Yeah. Well, I will make a blue one too. Yeah. So we'll probably, we should probably do that too, but yeah. maybe. Maybe not tonight. I don't know. Oh, we'll see how you're feeling. I'll see how I'm feeling after this crazy rainbow. You're chicken. the boss after all. We don't want we don't want anybody to get bored. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> how long can you watch a lady crochet, crochet chickens? chickens? Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm gonna do a new, new poll. <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a new official poll. This is a Mr. and Stitches poll. Now I know, I know, I know. We're just kind of hanging out, so everybody's sort of sitting around, got their feet up, doing some some crochet. This is this is company. This is company on a Tuesday evening. This is this is my kind of company. But uh, I I have been making chickens all night. <laughs> I like these relaxed live streams. This is nice. I would sort of be sitting here crocheting anyway, so it's nice to hang out with everybody. Lots of it, lots of people are excited to see how this rainbow chicken turns out. It's it's already looking pretty crazy. I like it so far. Yeah, it's kind oh of, my goodness. It's kind of nutty, I gotta say. So those colors change quickly. Yes, yes. So that's perfect. Yeah, this does change really fast. This is a fun a fun yarn. Sherry asks, "What is your favorite novelty yarn?" Favorite novelty yarn. That's a great question. Everybody, please give give an answer. Uh, your favorite novelty yarn. So to me, novelty yarn is anything that's not like your standard, you know, smooth flowing yarn. It doesn't really matter what fiber it is, but uh, my favorite novelty yarn. What have I used in the most of? You know, can we say that the blanket yarn, the 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 like the burnout blanket yarn, can we say that's novelty yarn? Because it's it feels sort of like novelty yarn to me. Any of that big chunky polyester stuff. I I I would call that novelty yarn. I love that stuff. I think that might be my favorite. Okay, I have to change the poll. I, I messed it up. Why? It's pretty funny though. Okay, I'm ending the poll, guys. I'm I'm redoing it. 
I didn't word it properly. No, how'd you no. word it? I'm not telling you. Oh, okay. This is uh this is a party for us. <laughs> oh you're not you're not invited. This is the other you're party not invited to this party. That happens in the room. I see, I see. <laughs> Right. Decreasing here. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. I was going back to oh. our, uh, our previous conversation that you're not allowed to know about. Oh, I see. I have fixed the poll. Cast your votes. We had almost 50 votes right away. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, the polls are fun. I'm going to share the poll with Jada later. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how this comes out. If anybody's wondering what kind of what I'm using for stuffing, this is some some t-shirt yarn that I made um, that I I haven't I've been sort of plunking away at. I've been using it for other little minor projects, but it also makes really nice stuffing for little tiny stuffed toys. Chenille or velvet yarn. I like the chenille. I don't use it a lot, but I have a lot of it. Gail says, "Why chickens?" I'll I'll answer that question. <laughs> Actually, I'll let the chickens answer. <laughs> well, I don't know if you is. speak chicken, but they are answering your question. I don't speak chicken. I I love chickens. They crack me up so much. Um, we made cheap. We made our little our little chi our latest chibi chubby tubby animal or chibi chubby tubby pet uh, tutorial was last Friday, and we made we made a little chicken. And I just had so much fun making them that I wanted to make a bunch more because I know a lot of people who like chickens, and I think they're going to be getting them. For, uh, for Christmas ornaments this year. So that's what I'm up to this evening. Those are cute chickens. They are, they're adorable. And I think I think everybody voted for a really good, a really good yarn, because this is- That's turning out awesome. This is bonkers, but I love it. It looks like- You're gonna go with a red uh, top? It, yeah, yeah, I want it to, to, you gotta keep some sort of semblance of, uh, this is what makes it look like a chicken. This is looks like a candied chicken. I can't believe how quick you whipped that up. Well, they're a, they're a quick little project. For anyone who's curious, we have a tutorial for these chickens. Yep, it was Friday. We just posted it on Friday. <laughs> I'm going to read out Cherry's answer later, but I'm waiting for the poll to fill up a bit. A bit. We've got 86 votes so far. Let's get to 100 votes. 100 votes. Oh, and remember to click the like button, guys, oh, yeah. if you're enjoying the stream. Please, please do. Um, and subscribe. It'll, it, we, we, we are it helps us. We constantly forget to say these things. But it, it actually helps you guys more. So if you're, if you're really enjoying a particular video by somebody, anybody, um, make sure you click the like button because it, it does help out the channel. But more importantly, it tells the algorithm that you want to see more of yes. that. So if you, when you log into YouTube and you're just staring at your home screen, you'll see more of what you actually want to see as opposed to just sort of the stuff that they're kind of generally ramp, like recommending to you. Okay, there's that. And I'm gonna pick a front. Let's see here. <laughs> what are we voting? 92 votes so far. <laughs> the troll has come out to play. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's that time of the night, is it? It's that time of the night.
That's looking really good so far. <laughs> this one might be my favorite. I love it. Oh my gosh, let me just get its eyes on. Hang on. This is so funny. <laughs> Can't stop! I can't stop smiling at it. It's it's it looks like a little candy. I oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love with a chicken. Okay, I'm gonna close the poll. We got over 100 votes. So oh, wow! Okay, another 10 10 seconds or so. If you want to vote in the President Goofy poll, oh, <laughs> the poll that and I then I will share it with Jada. <laughs> All right. You ready? You ready for some yes. serious trolling? I'm ready for some serious trolling. You ready to get super trolled? <laughs> so I did a poll. Mm -hmm. This is of my own design. <laughs> and it is Mr. Stitch's poll. Are you bored? Are you bored? So we were joking about uh, that earlier. Yes. Are you bored? So the number one answer at 90%, a Whoa. whopping 90%, is no, <laughs> I love the crochet. Oh, <laughs> uh, yay! In second place, this is my favorite answer, at 6%, is I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. And 2% said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we pull. And this is why we pull. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Obviously, I was uh, trolling there. Teasing. I do like that, though. That's funny. It is. All right. All right. Get your little eyes in place. Squeeze it. A lot of people eat. are loving the little uh, the little candy, candy I rainbow chicken. I am in love <laughs> with this candy oh, little rainbow yeah. chicken. <laughs> that turned out really good. Did anybody time that? How long did that take me? I, I don't think that was even 10 minutes. I, I would say it was probably between five and 10 minutes. Does anyone know? <laughs> you, I love it. It's a candy chicken. Through that chicken. Candy chicken. Candy chicken. Candy chicken. <laughs> what do you guys think of the what do you guys think of the rainbow candy chicken? That's that's so darn that's cute. That's fun. That is really cute. Yeah. Little squishy body. That one should definitely be named Candy. Uh, yes, this is Candy. <laughs> Love it. Cute. Candy, awesome. Candy chicken. Can I eat it? It looks delicious. It does, it doesn't it? It looks like a gummy or something. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Very cute. Love it. Oh my gosh. This is this is too darn fun. Okay, so what have I made? I've made six, no, five. I've made five chickens this evening. So I had two weeks before. Oh we my started. goodness, look at them all. Happy little chickens. I've got a real brood going. So this is the biggest one. She's quite chubby. I like this this little I like the little red hen. I like I like the little the little the little speckled one. This but this candy one is, is just hilarious. That was a good choice, guys. Excellent choice on the on the crazy rainbow chicken. Candy chicken. I love it. Well, I think that yeah, Leslie says now I need to buy that yarn. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if you can find it. I don't know that they make it anymore. This is Red Heart Kids. Um, I don't. I think it might be out of out of. Like, I don't think they're making. It might be discontinued. This is <laughs> the color is bikini. I'm not sure how you get bikini out of this. It is quite bright, but <laughs> it was a size four medium weight and it was made in the USA. And each, it was 232 yards or 113 grams. I bought, I found this, I know I bought this many, many years ago and I bought a lot of it at the time because I think it was on sale because I tend to buy yarn when it's on sale because I'm cheap like that. And I also am obsessed with rainbow. <laughs> I just loved it. It looks like candy. So I think I, I think I bought every ball they had mm -hmm. on the shelf when I got it. So I still have quite a bit left. It's going but, back though, eh? But I don't know if they make it anymore. Red Heart Kids. Size 4, medium weight. Bikini. Bikini color. Bikini. Yeah, really like that. Um, sometimes... 
people sell it on like eBay. Um, Someone was mentioning and eBay. Etsy. eBay is a pretty good place to get yarn. Yes, like, like you'll you'll find better uh, deals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, especially independent if, sellers, I guess. Independent sellers, people maybe like buy a lot of yarn and then they don't end up using it. You know, mm -hmm. there's any number of reasons why people would sell it, but that can be a good place to find discontinued yarn. Um, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm content with my little brood. I think uh, we've probably been live streaming for nearly two hours. We are two hours and five minutes. Two hours and five minutes. Goodness gracious. My goodness. I am going to have some supper because we haven't really had dinner yet. We had a late lunch, but uh, we are going to do that. We are going to thank you all so much for hanging out with us and putting your feet up and working on your works in progress. <laughs> Well, I made some chickens. I hope you guys, if you want to um, check out this particular tutorial or any of the, the little tutorials in our Chibi collection, we will make sure the links are in the pinned comment and also the description box after the, the stream ends. So you can always sort of find them there. And um, you can also search it on our channel homepage. And we have a Chibi Chubby Tubby uh, playlist too. So if you are on the homepage and you go to the playlist tab, you can also find the whole playlist for them there. And we have seven different little chibi chubby tubbies now. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. We hope you uh, had a nice evening, kind of chill, a couple of laughs. I know I did. And um, got some work done. And we will see you Friday for our Friday video. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, stay clucky, stay plucky. Keep clucking. Plucky, uh, keep clucking. <laughs> keep on clucking. <laughs> keep on clucking. <laughs> Stay strong. Wait, wait. How many chicken puns can we do? Okay, so keep on clucking. Uh, I, I just completely I, I, shorted I, I've got a few, but I, I'm a little scared to throw them out there okay. because of how close, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... Maybe someone in the chat will uh, think of one, but... Oh, uh, if you're playing yarn chicken later. Oh, yeah. Someone mentioned that. I like that. Uh, yarn chicken. A little bit of yarn chicken uh, for real. And uh, yeah, I think um, Cinnamon Stitches Jennifer, she mentioned yarn chicken in the in the comments. Yeah. And the crowd was like, ah, oh, I hadn't even thought of that love yet. Chicken. <laughs> love tonight's hen party. Yes, it was fun. I love my little Thanks dream. for joining us, everyone. Yeah, hope thanks had, so much. you had some fun. Some it's um, Remember, these are, these are sweet little pick-me-up gifts. So if you don't know what else to do with yourself and you make a little tiny stuffed toy, especially when they're small and tiny like this these are funny looking they're good for a little laugh and they're so nice to just give someone to sort of cheer them up so that's one of the reasons i like making these things so i think everybody i know is getting a chicken for christmas <laughs> <laughs> anyway take care everybody we'll see you soon friday in fact okay. and uh have a good week good night everyone yeah. bye 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 guys i think she won i think she wins like <laughs> <laughs>